Szanowni Państwo, Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Polish Electoral Commission, let me welcome you very cordially at the first Sunday conference of the National Electoral Commission devoted to the European election. We have with us Deputy Head of the National Electoral Commission's Judge Kozielewicz, members of the National Electoral Commission Judge Wiesław Buć, Judge Zbigniew Cieślak, and Secretary of the National Electoral Commission and at the same time Head of the National Electoral Bureau, Madam Magdalena Pietrzak. Welcome. We would like to welcome the delegation of uh, Armenia, Georgia, Ukraine delegations. Um, and over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, apologies uh, for the slight delay. We wanted to get data from all territorial uh, electoral commissions. Uh, that's why we are starting the conference uh, with a four-minute delay. Apologies. As regards uh, data regarding yesterday, that is the day before the elections period of uh, election silence, and the night from Saturday to Sunday, it was rather peaceful in Poland. Uh, from the information from the police headquarters, uh, as of 5.30 a.m. today, there were just uh, occasional instances of violation of uh, the electoral law provisions countrywide. There were 38 such cases. Usually they concerned destruction, damaging of uh, posters. 18 such cases were registered, canvassing during the election uh, silence uh, period. Uh, was uh, recorded in four cases. So both yesterday and the night, from the perspective of uh, the obeyance of the Electoral Code was uh, very peaceful. It was also in the spirit of peacefulness that we started today's elections. All uh, territorial Electoral Commission stations were opened at 7. There were no incidents uh, registered when it comes uh, to opening of the polling stations or commencement of uh, the voting. Luckily, the flood caused no perturbations uh, and didn't uh, interfere with the workings of the polling stations in the south of Poland. The most recent information that we have uh, confirmed that there was no need to move the polling stations elsewhere. So there is no danger right now from the flood. As regards incidents uh, recorded today, again, uh, there are just a couple of them. Bearing in mind uh, that uh, we're talking about almost 30 million uh, voters, over 27,000 polling stations uh, with over 200,000 people working there, remember to always uh, get the right scale if we assess improper behavior or incidents of those who are participating in the elections. We registered the following incidents. Head of uh, one polling station in Olsztyn came to work uh, under influence of alcohol. Of course, he was prohibited from working uh, in the polling station and the police decided to intervene. As I'm being uh, instructed by my colleague, I should tell you that there were incidents recorded in Oleszyce municipality, four polling stations uh, mistakenly stamped uh, the ballot papers uh, with the polling station for the referendum. When they realized uh, the error, a third stamp was put on each ballot paper. In these polling stations, the ballot papers have three stamps uh, from the District Electoral Commission, because that's the printed stamp, and we have the referendum polling station stamp, and on top of that, we have the third stamp 
of the polling station for these, this year's European elections. The referendum stem has no impact on the validity of the ballot paper. The ballot paper is valid because it bears the two necessary stamps, the District Electoral Commission and the polling station so stamp. The additional stamp is treated as something unnecessary additional. What's more, we received information from voters voting abroad, uh, for instance from Sweden, stating that in the consulate in Stockholm the voting is taking place without any interruptions. Moreover, let me state that the European elections in Poland are observed by a group of representatives from other countries. We have with us here representatives of electoral authorities from Armenia, Georgia, Moldova and Ukraine. What's more, in Poland we have the Austrian group of observers. I've signed two certificates for the group. We have the social observers movement from the Russian Federation. Again, two certificates were issued for these observers. On top of that, we have representatives from the Ukrainian organization a non-governmental organization focusing on electoral law. We issued nine certificates for them. We have seven representatives of a Belarusian NGO focusing on electoral matters. We issued seven certificates for them. Furthermore, we have many representatives of a Ukrainian non-governmental organization which for over 11 years has been monitoring the electoral process in different countries. For the representatives of this organization, I have signed 27 certificates. In total, we have issued uh, 59 certificates uh, for 59 observers uh, for this year's uh, European elections. Uh, they will be our international observers uh, working here in Poland. This is everything when it comes to the basic information that I wanted to share with you. Would you like to share anything, uh, add anything? Well, if that's the case, let's open up for questions. Małgorzata Telemińska, TVN24. Good morning. You said there were no problems in the flooded areas. Uh, there was no need to move the polling stations. But uh, do you get any information about people who have trouble getting to the polling stations? There are individual locations in uh, Tarnobrzeg's vicinity. Already before we were informed that uh, individual households may find it uh, difficult to get to the polling station, that the communes provide transportation. They were aware of that, and transportation means will be made available to people. Are there any further questions? I see none. Well, thank you very much, and I'd like to invite you to the next uh, press conference which will take place at 1.30 p.m. I'd like to thank the members of the National Electoral Commission.